talk a little business here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I was here week before Pat, uh, Brother John said our prayer at the opening. I'm Martha Mattice, I'm Eula Bingham Mattice's daughter, and then the Bingham tree, um, Arthur Bingham's granddaughter. Um, and Kathy and I sent out the notifications and just wanted to welcome everybody who wasn't here when we first started gathering, uh, that everybody was able to mm -hmm. hopefully make it here safely off the highways and um, join us today. We needed to talk a little business about like next year, if we were going to be here or elsewhere, Kathy can take it from there. Just about that. So one thing we had considered was Crittenden Baptist Church. And my sister is a member there for decades and decades. And um, it's close to the Crittenden exit off of I-75. And they have a large recreation room uh, that can, you can use. And you can use the outdoor basketball court and uh, things like that if kids wanted to. Um, she said that she checked it, checked it just a week ago. It's not signed up for next year for the date, our date. Um, she, she would have to put a deposit down that she would, for $200, that she would get that back when we, when we finished and we haven't worn out the place, um, which we won't. And, um, and so she just said, decide if that's what you want. We had thought about doing it there, but um, it's up to you all, and I don't know whether it's possible to do it here continually or what your preference is. So that's one thing for us to vote on today. And uh, and so are there any, does anybody want to make comments before we take a vote on that? Is it right that we've been meeting since 1910, is that correct? That's why I was I don't know. Except for during COVID. Um, well, they didn't meet during World War II. Didn't meet during World War II. But that, I, I don't know. That's, That's a lot of years. It yeah. is a lot of years. Yeah. And we've got. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't meet during COVID either. Time for Baptist Church is one of the When we were very little. Yes. Uh, that uh, our families gathered over there. And and it's still there on the house by Highway 16. They even got a basement now. But I don't even, I know, I'm pretty sure we don't, we may have somebody distant, my relative, going there. <laughs> but I don't think that'd be a possibility for us. I just want y'all to know that's sort of where we started out the roots. We bought our car, you know, and mom and dad had it down at their house a couple years ago at the farm, the old farm. I had it. I had it in what, Washington, our house. So, you know, this, uh, under the trees over at Grand County Fairgrounds was nice, but then if it rains, you know, you're out. So this week we went to the welfare building that's located there in Crittenden now. The fair's not there anymore, so there's another spot. But the welfare house is there, and uh, I guess it's still $200. I think you can get. Did we get a hundred back or something? No, I don't remember. Something back. I don't remember. Not, but it's air conditioning, you know. So I know we all enjoy that too. Right. Having that, it's like, really hard to keep people. I'm gonna have to run like up. That, so I'm gonna have to run up. I, I thought Pat, you know, she opened her church up. I don't think my church would care. Yeah, but you hold it for me. Some of you all might have somewhere else that you want to meet that we have. Not a lot of places you can go anymore that they don't charge you for kind of money. We usually take up a love offering and give to the, the people that claim here, you know, the custodians will give that to them. Right. They usually turn around and give it to the church. But anyway, so. And so uh, maybe part of the way thinking about what's more convenient to you, what's easier to get to, which uh, if that makes a difference. But any other comments? Before we take a vote, should we still have the opportunity for well, what are we voting on here? Here, yeah, so there wouldn't be a problem with that. Yeah, but you don't want to have it in the church. Well, we're saying 
want to take both. both. I want to take okay. both. Okay, well, can you see what the options are? And so we know those two are an option. So what would be an option here or a great suggestion? And how far is the great suggestion? Why do I have to put it in a What do people think?
about how we could make it from Mesa to here, but it just was not going to be workable. I can I bring him up on my cell phone this afternoon if anybody wants to connect with him about um, different things. But he was going to be with the wedding um, celebration, but that um, he would make sure that he was here next year. So, but if anybody wants to work on the family tree and his computer skills, I would love to hear from you. Uh, this is my friend Paul Isles. We've been together for about nine years, and I left him here and took off to Tucson. So <laughs> I come all the way back home. And Steve's filming for me back there. And then, left uh, my son out there. Paul, nice to have you here with us. Thank and, you. Uh, you want to be on the speech with one of my teachers, Ron? Yes, that's Amen. right. Amen. Yeah. 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 Well, he is now yeah. in the yeah. Hall of Fame at Dixie Heights High School. And I got to go sing for him and speak for him. There at the big banquet they had with all the Hall of Fame members. Also, I'd like to say that this is the first time in my 80 years of life, uh, thanks to my wife, Miss June Magley Stevens, smartest move I ever made, but <laughs> you all will probably agree with that. And, uh, uh, but happy to be here today is for the first time are my three daughters, Holly, Pamela, and Michelle. Stand up, girls. And my son, Guido, George, and, uh, and their and my granddaughter, Courtney, and and I like the husbands to stand. Mo, stand up. Uh, that's Pamela's husband, and Bill. Stand up, and, uh, uh, and Ike, where's Ike? Now, Ike is, is a grandson, and he just graduated from Covington Latin School, and uh, already been admitted to the University of Kentucky, where I graduated from. Yeah. Uh, believe me, that thrills my soul. Now, uh, Paul, uh, stand up. This is Courtney's... Uh, boyfriend and uh, just bought a home and I was uh, sort of a somewhat realtor, you know, I've been a realtor for 51 years, you know. That's a long time to be something, a long time to be anything. And uh, uh, my little sister Judy, who made it down here today, and I have to say, her and Bill have been watched over by the Lord, Bill, have been watched over by the Lord since they've been battling all kinds of health issues. And for them to make the effort to come here today to be with us, I am so proud and thankful. And I thank God that they're still alive and we got them to see and say hello to Miriam, who happens to be Uncle Bill's daughter. And Uncle Bill was the first horticultural chairman of horticulture for the University of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. I mean, so the First time. I know I was there. And I'm 
set it up, except uh, can I sing one little song? Well, I was going to say, you, you brought up a good point. What if we hear from everybody? Yes. You want to sing after we do that? Yeah, or, we'll hear from everybody. Like other families, tell us who's here who you haven't been mentioned yet. <laughs> Maybe just stand up and say who you are.
lived at Grandma Laney's. That's where my mom's mom lived. And uh, definitely made some life improvements on it. His wife, Barb, uh, two daughters, Emma. Come on, you got to stand up. That's Barb. <laughs> Emma, Emma Jean. Actually, she's a, she's got the same name as Freddie's sister, Emma Jean. That's that starts her. I'm always wrong. Shelby Taylor has got the Bing names. You know, we have Dr. Taylor Bing, the great grandfather, and her husband, um, a little less than a year. They got married in September. He's joined the Marines. He's been he's like, um,
beautiful to God. And I thank you very much for allowing me to be a small part of this great, great family. Amen.